Hey everybody, Hat Creature here. So I'm coming at you today with some post commentary. Uh, I was trying to play uh, some Nikolai today, but I ran into some. Uh, I ran into a really good team that was disrespectful. Uh, it's hard to find a good team that isn't disrespectful. I hope I do not get paired with those survivors myself, because I was paired with them quite a few times, and despite me being the nicest person to them as survivor complete fucking disrespect as mastermind good job anyway what is this so this is obviously a low rank alex but but this is the scariest alex i've ever faced that wasn't using traps whoever this person is incredible uh their build is lethal as hell uh so I'm running a limit break build. Uh, I do a lot of damage the lower my health is, and that's what saved us. Uh, if I didn't have that, we definitely would have lost. Uh, spoilers, we win in this one. But the point of this is, what build are they using? I've asked them. They have not responded. So I'm going to figure it out myself. Why is this build so cool that I'm impressed by it? Like, it's very rare when I ask someone, hey, what build are you using? Because it's really cool. Uh... I think I've done it to like three people. This is the third. So, anyway, this is a heavy infection build. Watch as I... Watch my infection level. What is that? Bottom left corner. I ran through that crap. It's almost one. It's almost stage one infection. I'm a This is a smart-ass mastermind. He's following me. He knows I'm here. He's already setting up. Watch my infection level. Watch the plays. Already at one. He's controlling it right now. And I knew this door was locked, but I realized too late. The chain bites. Look at the infection. Look at the damage. That's insane. He's doing it again. Very good creature player. He knows what he's doing, so obviously he's played a lot of Daniel. He's doing it again. But I know what he's doing. Didn't expect me to have a Molly. But all accounts, he should have took me down. Somehow, by the grace of whatever, I didn't die right there. We should have died in Area 1. So somehow he didn't, and I made it out. Uh, I think he's running t -Phobos, but if he's running t -Phobos, then he is running an all-viral canisters. He has to be running all-viral canisters if he's running t -Phobos, because that infection is serious. It is fast. Incredibly fast. Damn, that, uh, that's got to be like two think? seconds. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I go back up here to save Valerie, because I know how scary this mastermind is, and I know she's going to die alone if nobody helps her. So I go in here, and I do what I can to save her, and thankfully, uh, they gave me a... What was it? Oh, oh yeah, a, a blue spray. And I'm not getting infected here, apparently, so I guess Valerie is running the variant uh, uh, that gives us immunity. And now it pops up. So he's obviously... Oh, well, no. That was a detonator, but there is an infectious detonator. I don't know if they're running a viral mod. It's, it's so aggressive. I, I, it reminds me of the Twisted Doctor. Look at that time. Seriously lethal infection build. Uh, uh, and at this point, uh, I'm like, okay, so we're gonna lose. <laughs> uh, and I contemplated buying a gun, but I didn't, because I didn't really have enough credits for it. Uh, so I just bought flashies. Uh, I bought flash grenades, because I was like, uh, I'll probably, you know, w waste ammo. But the flash grenades will come in handy. I wanted a Molotov. Uh, and this dude is an extremely aggressive creature player. So I was like, if I can get some flashies, I can take advantage of that. Uh, 
and he's already there. Thankfully, somebody has a shotgun. But look at this! The infection is so powerful. I would love to know what this person's running. Oh, and then uh, she healed me there, apparently. That was nice. I guess she did? Uh, oh, no, Yorick is infected, too. So he's not running a viral mod. He's got to be running sprays. I'm almost dead. But that means I have max damage. Because I have limit break. Yeah, I was hoping he saw that, but he didn't. Science can give us. Why do you still resist me? I'm not sure why I go back in, but that's what happens when I go back in. Uh, and the, uh, the mastermind, you know, might have been able to eat one of us, but he knew that January had the key and she was at a security device, so he jumped out. Instead of playing like me, he played better. So he jumped out, started chasing January, so I'm going over here to help. Uh, Valerie obviously isn't paying attention because she thinks January is lollygagging. Saying, this way! So they don't spawn for protection. So he's using a spray. Okay, so he has infectious detonators. Incredibly powerful infectious detonators. He's got an... Imposter zombies? Double zombies? Lockdown traps. I, just wanna lie down. I see some dogs in Area 3, but it's the only time, so I think it's a preset. So, so at this point, I'm like, we have a chance. We can do this. Uh, extremely scary mastermind uh, to the point where I'm like uh, I'm actually like trying really hard to pay attention to what he's doing uh, for once the masterminds actually challenging me enough uh, uh, to where I'm you know try trying to pay attention to my surroundings uh, and predict what he's going to do uh, I don't do it often when I play survivor because I don't usually have to uh, or they just you know it's just a spam build um, you know you can only predict so much in a a spam build, but this isn't that. It's a very focused build. He's using enhancers. He's not using vapors. That was an enhancer. Interesting. So he has Bio-Leech Enhancer, and that must mean that he might be using the Infection Enhancer as well. Some really good teammates. So here's where I finally do some good work against the bio core. Uh, I'm a little under half health, so I'm doing, you know, a lot of damage. I have Iron Nails 3 and 2.
So this is where I back off a little bit. It's the final Biocore, but we have like three minutes. So I wait for my team. Uh, and then I find out another passive they're using. So the trap of the zombies feed me. He's using Veil. And waiting for my team didn't really help as much as I would have liked. Yeah, so I know I get the extra damage from being injured, but I'm healing because I'm assuming they have T-Fogos. And, you know, that's a lot of damage, so I'm like, I need something to kind of counteract that. There's not a whole lot of time left, and I dodge the Yataveo. And I... I just get the Biogore. Don't want to give him a chance to control one. Is that a detonator? Yep. And there goes the Biocore. But yeah. Yeah, this was a... A, a tense match, and apparently some frame drops happen uh, a few times. And uh, from here, it's not really a challenge, and everyone uses up all the grenades uh, that I was the only one thought was a good idea to get. <laughs> everyone just starts throwing all the grenades that they have, uh, because it's the only thing that's going to help us get to get to that exit. Uh, but I don't huddle up with the rest of them, because I know it'll be dangerous. Uh, I spread out just in case they need backup at the exit. Uh, even though we got out with two minutes, I would say that we barely got out. Uh, if I hadn't made it to the Biocore, we wouldn't have gotten out. Uh, if that person hadn't thrown a molly at that time, 100% would have lost. Right there. Because there were way too many creatures and I would have gone down. So, yeah. Whoever this is, GG. Very impressive player. Uh, I had a great time playing. Uh, hopefully I can reverse engineer it. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, have a great day.